Hey, Virgo Summon Rising in Venus. This is what we got going on for March 27, 2023. If you'd like to make a purchase, you can go ahead and do so at tarotbarbie.com. I got Crystal Sage Incense, Personal Readings, and much more. Let's get it, sweetie. Coming with the Ace of Wands, the Two of Pentacles, and the Ten of Pentacles. So it looks like there's going to be a new opportunity here with somebody who may not be so quick to make a move with the Four of Swords, Chariot card, and the Two of Cups, but there is definitely going to be a reunion where you both are going to be able to see each other, speak to each other. This person's coming in pretty fast, if I may say, especially after maybe a long period of time of them maybe kind of like sleeping on you, with them not really making a move, without them really... Eh, they don't really they didn't really know what they wanted but they do believe that the 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 connection between they are very passionate about you they want this new beginning they are coming rushing back towards you guys chariot to the two of cups you guys look like you're going to be meeting up with each other at the same time a lot of you guys have been single for a while now with the nine of pentacles but it's more so of the fact that you guys look like you've been pretty disappointed with people who continuously come into your life but then don't show you nothing like nobody really takes action on you at all like what's and, and you're a whole vibe that's the crazy thing about it. like you're an you're a, you're, a, you're they said you're an empire you're honestly a whole entire vibe uh virgos nine of pentacles you're single you're healthy you're beautiful you're self-sufficient your independency your uh self-control you knowing what you absolutely deserve and the fact that you're not going to put up with and nothing less. When you re, when you put your frequency at a high vibration where you're not going to tolerate low vibrational shit, you're going to attract exactly what you desire, Emperor card. And this person is going to be great for you guys in the long run, whether it's an empress or an emperor. They're going to be the best for you in the long run. Um, you guys could have also been dealing with an Aries Leo Sagittarius. You guys are not even looking at this Aries Leo Sagittarius anymore. You guys are like, forget it. Like, I'm done with this shit. So even if you guys may have one more chance to look back at this connection with the Knight of Wands to the Two of Pentacles, this person's pretty unstable, if I may say. You guys are obviously going to link back up with this person, but then again, it's almost like, mm, you're not impressed anymore. It, it's crazy energy. It's almost like you're not impressed anymore, but you're looking towards somebody else that could be potentially coming towards you guys, which this one here will be a new relationship for you guys with the Emperor, Ten of Pentacles, Six of Wands. Somebody's going to be much more better for you guys in the long run. Whoever the person was that may have ghosted you, they are going to take some time to reach back out to you guys again, but I do believe you guys are going to reunite with them. It's right there. You guys are going to reunite with the person who ghosted you, slept on you, who abandoned you, who was juggling you with other people, who wasn't taking you seriously. And, you know, Virgos, I think realistically, you guys should be really proud of yourselves with not tolerating any bullshit. You guys are at your highest frequency at this time where you're manifesting all of your aspirations, your desires, you're inspired, you're doing what makes you feel right and what makes you feel good. It's not like it's, oh, I'm so greedy. It's not like any, no greedy energy. It's more so of, no, I'm doing what's best for me at this point. And if you're not going to help me or teach me or help me grow or make me more high vibrational than mind, body, and soul spiritually, uh, you know, soulfully, whatever, then you really don't need them in your energy at all. But nonetheless, uh, there is a reunion coming in between you, a Cancer, an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, uh, a Leo, and uh, a Virgo, a Gemini, a Taurus. Uh, heavy on the Gemini energy as well, all right? But nonetheless, they are coming in. You guys are going to reconcile with each other, see each other, talk to each other. Um, by the time September comes for you guys, you will, in fact, be meeting a new person coming into your life. It will be the month of September. A lot of you guys' birthdays are September. Uh, so I don't really see this being August energy. I more so seeing it be September energy where you'll actually end up meeting a new person into your life. You will meet up you will absolutely meet a new person coming in in the month of September. Uh, September 18th, <sighs> September 11, and also Libra energy, September 27 as well. All right, uh, the person from the past is kind of scared, obviously. They are scared because they are trying to, they're just scared. They're scared of you. They're scared of your love. They're scared of your presence. They're scared of your energy. They're scared. They're just, go be scared somewhere else. And nobody fucking care about you. You want to be afraid of love. You want to be afraid to know what love feels like. You want to, you want to just keep, then man, just go fucking sit in the corner and go cry. Go cry because you're afraid. Go self-sabotage because you choose to be afraid of every little thing in life. Oh, I'm afraid of be loved because I've never been loved before. Okay, well then keep 
putting yourself in a position for you not to be able to grow. You putting yourself in a position not being able to experience. You putting yourself in a position of not being able to heal. You know, you, you don't want to heal your wounds, then you're going to get triggered every single time. If you're not going to heal your wounds, then you're going to get triggered every single time. And it's going to delay your healing process. At the end of the day, Virgo's Nine of Wands, Strength Card, Page of Cups, and the Queen of Wands. This person's coming in. They want to apologize to you. They're obviously still holding on to your energy with the Strength Card to the Nine of Wands. They want to come towards you, but they are a little bit intimidated and they're more so afraid. But an apology is coming in for you guys with the Two of Cups, the Chariot Card, the Page of, page of Cups, and the Queen of Wands. So this person's definitely coming in for you guys. You guys are going to be reuniting with each other. This person obviously... You know, sometimes you got to watch your back with this person because of what they've done to you guys before in the past. But in the end, they got this Queen of Swords beside them at the same time, too, who's not taking any more shit. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You guys need to, this King of Cups needs to be needs to be careful with the Seven of Swords to the King of Cups. It's like, you can't, you think that you're going to be able to be confident enough to think that you can come in with this reunion with the Four of Wands, but then still be some sort of liar, pathological liar at the same time, because it looks like you guys are going to cut this person off immediately. It's like you see their shit for what it is. You know, it's like, I know what you're up to. I know what you're saying. I know those, I know what your intentions are behind that cup, no matter what. And that's why you guys are going to eventually cut this person off and just let them know what's really going on. You're going to be like, no, I don't have time for this shit. I'm cutting it off. Like, you're not going to let anybody who is not going to be sincere with you uh, to come into your energy, which obviously is going to bring in the tower on the page of wands, the six of pentacles, the three of wands, the page of pentacles, the judgment card, and the four of cups. You guys are calling judgment on this. You're saying, no more. Enough's enough. I don't want I don't have time for it anymore. I'm ready to grow. I'm ready to do my own thing. You're 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 tired. It's really a lot of disappointed energy, uh, giving your all and not getting nothing back in return. Giving too much with the six of pentacles. Eventually, you're going to be moving on. This is going to be a tower that's going to be coming in. But a lot of you guys is. <sighs> A lot of you guys, this tower may potentially end up actually being a good tower for you guys in the long run where you guys are going to be able to meet somebody else as well. This person's going to help you. They're going to give to you, you know, and then you guys are going to move on and they're going to come back to you, talk to you, speak to you, send you a message, calling judgment, and then four of cups. I do see a little bit of stagnated energy with the three of wands. It's like if you guys decide to make a move and leave behind, like after after this person gives to you, Aries Leo, after this person gives to you with the six of pentacles, you guys turn your back and go on with your life. And then you're going to have to sit down and decide with the Page of Pentacles and make a decision on whether or not you're actually going to want this connection here. But there is going to be a tower coming in for an Aries Leo Sagittarius. This person here with the Page of Wands, they are too young still. They might not be at the level of you on a spiritual level. You guys are not going to worry about this person. Three of Wands. You guys know that no matter what it is that you guys do in life, you guys are always giving, giving, giving. People are always needing, 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 needing from you. And you don't get nothing back. You guys don't care because you know what? It's saying, like, you know, I don't, I don't care. If I, I, I'd, rather, I'd rather give than receive. And that's not a bad thing. Because it's always what's in your heart. And you guys got something very, very valuable here in your heart space with the Page of Pentacles. And Judgment is saying, yeah, you're right. But you know what? It's time that we give to you now with the Four of Cups. It looks like the universe owes you guys. For especially for from people who try to take away from you at the same time. Uh, this person spying on you with the Page of Swords to Lovers, Knight of Swords. So this person here, uh, Virgo energy and Gemini energy, Aquarius and uh, uh, they said Sagittarius. But anyway, this person's still watching you. They're wondering if you're in a relationship with anybody else. They're still thinking about you. This person seems like they're going to be asking you a lot of questions on who it is that you've been with or how many people you slept with or whatever the fuck what. Tell them to go fucking body count something else. Tell them to go fuck themselves. It's none of their business. Don't let nobody ever put you in a position to make you feel bad for whatever the fuck you've done in your life it's no one's business oh you want to be a man but then you want to ask a woman what her body count is oh you want to be a woman and you want to ask a man what their body count is why does it matter to you why do you care what someone's done in their past for if they're linking up with you today and now why are you worried about their past for why don't you just focus on that person being who they are now today and then moving forward if you're going to be dwelling on shit from the past then then you then you 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 have a problem with yourself that means you feel inadequate. Nobody gives you the right to judge anybody. 
How people choose to live their life is how they choose to live their life. But you can't judge nobody for nothing. You don't have the privilege to judge anybody for anything because you're not God. God knows what, exactly why things had happened the way that it happened. You don't have no right asking people these stupid questions here. Fuck out of here. Fuck out of here. Oh, so that way you can put a label on it and be like, oh yeah, that woman's a hoedem? Nah, get out of here. <laughs> don't think that just because you're a man that you're not a fucking hoedem either. If you're sleeping around with a bunch of fucking women, you think that you can do that? That No, you cannot. No, you cannot. I don't care. I don't care. You can't. Don't ever put yourself in a position to make yourself look like a fucking scumbag and sitting there trying to degrade a fucking woman. Women are supposed to be treasured. Everybody in this world are treasures. We're all diamonds, men and women. You don't know what people's traumas have been. You don't know what people have been through. You don't know fucking nothing. You're not here to uh, call out people out for the for the things that they've been through. You don't know what they've been through. You don't know why the things that they've been through. You don't know why what had happened to them. You don't know their story. You have no right asking questions like this. Mind your fucking business. I'm telling you right now, mind your fucking business. You being the page of source to the, to the lover's card, mind your fucking business. You're not even in a king position or an emperor position to be asking any of these fucking questions. Fuck out of here. K kick rocks, go to the sidelines, sit on the sidewalk, do what you need to do. You don't have no right. You're nothing but a fucking kid. You're a page. Grow the fuck up. Sitting here asking stupid questions. Anyways, uh, the night is sore. This person's coming in quickly and they obviously want to talk to you, but it looks like you guys may end up closing out this cycle with this person. When they start asking you all these stupid questions, you guys are not tolerating it at all. This person here might be very sad, depressed, very bitter, ace of swords and the hierophant. Uh, you guys have a Virgo, a Taurus, a Capricorn, a, uh, oopsies, a Scorpio. This person here, they want to come towards you and they want to speak to you. This person obviously wants to make some sort of proposal to you with the Ace of Swords to the Hierophant. They're feeling really sad at the moment and they're thinking a lot about the connection that they had had with you. And they're wondering if you're with anybody else at this time. They're wondering, okay, who are you sleeping with? Who, who are you with? Are you with anybody? Are you in a relationship with anybody? <laughs> are you with a relationship with... <laughs> Ah, uh, so jokes. So, <laughs> oh my god. So, okay. So this person here, they're coming towards you with the Ace of Swords and the Higher, but they obviously want to make some sort of proposal to you. Uh, they know that you were the one that they were supposed to be getting married to, and they feel like they really lost their shot on that one with the five of caps because they were so childish and immature and always you know just stupid shit anyways they're really embarrassed with the seven of wands in reverse they didn't even fight for this relationship they didn't fight for nothing they are they left you guys with a lot of stress and a lot of burden which is bullshit for you guys in the long run but now they're struggling with the five of wands and they're also arguing with a lot of people too but they are trying to come back towards you guys with this offer with the, the ace of pentacles hoping to see if you guys are going to be able to take them back they have been thinking a lot about you with the two of wands to the magician card so they are going to put their little tools together to try and find a way to make it work again in the long run a lot of you guys may have argued with this person and a lot of you guys have cut this person off completely even if they did care about your love you guys saw their shit you guys saw their true intentions towards you behind the behind their so and behind so let's just say it's like this oopsies <laughs> let's just say it's like this It's like you saw this person's true intentions with the seven of swords behind them. It's like, it's like a two face. This is how I'm seeing it. So it's like you saw them for who they really are. And because you guys saw them for who they are, you guys called them out on it. And then you guys cut them off. It is what it is. And they're feeling really sad about it. They want to come back towards you guys. Again, somebody here may have worked for the government as well. Maybe this person works in account in accounting. Maybe they help people uh, financially. Maybe they are working for the unemployment or the employment section. I don't know. At the end of the day, it's, it looks like there's a government energy here. Oh, and uh, the Ace of Pentacles, Two of Wands, and the Mission. So they're going to try and find a way to come back towards you guys and talk to you. A reunion is coming in for you guys, Virgos. Uh, this person's obviously going to want to see you again face to face. They still feel like they have a connection with you guys. This could also be Twin Flame Energy, too, where they haven't spoken to you guys in quite some time. 
and it looks like the reunion is going to be coming back in. But by the time that this person decides to be stupid with the two of pentacles to the knight of wands, they might potentially end up running back to somebody from their past. And the moment that they do that, you guys turn you guys turn around to the future and you guys end up meeting somebody else. It's going to be much more better for you guys where you guys will actually end up with them with the ten of pentacles to the six of wands. Meaning you will end up getting married to the new person that's going to be coming in for you. But you guys are going to have to experience that shitty relationship with this person first. And before you guys can say, you know what, fuck this, I don't want it anymore. I sat here waiting. I don't want it. I see you for who you really are. And I'm ready to move on. And because you guys did that, because of the fact that this is like unfinished business between you and this individual, it's like God and the angels are going to let you guys see this person one last time. And then you guys are going to call judgment on it saying, you know what, like this is what you guys were crying for. You guys are sitting here crying for somebody who 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 is not good to you. It's like, well, you know what, because you guys had unfinished business, finish your business. Once you guys close that energy out, the universe is going to send you guys somebody else. At the bottom of the deck, you guys have the Nine of Cups, all right? You guys had hope and faith that everything's going to work out between the two of you guys. Some of you guys may have been dealing with an Aquarius, but nonetheless, this person put you guys through a lot of bullshit and a lot of fuck shit as well. This person is going to be coming in during Mercury Retrograde. Uh, they will be coming back towards you with the Nine of Cups and the, and the Wheel of Fortune to the Ten of Swords. So it's fucked up energy because the King of Swords, the Wheel of Fortune, and the Death card, this person might end up also calling judgment on you guys as well and simply putting an end to it, but they have to change. If you're not making any changes for yourself to... To raise your vibration, then they're not going to want nothing to do with you. Uh, you guys also have a Cancer Pisces Scorpio who's going to be coming back for you guys. This person's been going through a lot of shit with the Ten of Swords, but all that pain that they've been through is going to be able to put them in the position of more loving, more kind, and more compassionate, and more sincere. Uh, they had to. Cut, it looks like they had to cut ties from themselves for who they used to be in the past, but now they're now they're growing on a spiritual level, and they're going to be coming back to you guys as well. You guys also have an Aries, a Taurus. I'm uh, sorry, and maybe be you guys have an Aries a Scorpio a Virgo a, a uh, an Aquarius this person here is still keeping tabs on you guys and still watching you this person is still in hermit reflecting on how your relationship had ended because they chose to be a fool to run around with no responsibility or anything like that they didn't care who they were hurting now this is the time for them to actually go within with the hermit to the death card to actually think really loud really loud and clear and and really understand why the connection had ended obviously judgment had taken place for this connection to come to put a complete ending however though this was a relationship that was pure of love and they absolutely destroyed that with the death card and they're having to look back and really try and figure out uh with that death energy all right so now they're thinking about having to come back towards you guys you guys are stepping into that beautiful feminine goddess energy of yours which is exactly what you guys need at the end of the day and because your energy is so balanced you guys can bring in anybody that you guys want the more that you guys balance your energy out with yin and yang with your masculine energy and feminine energy, you guys are going to always be able to attract everything that's going to be meant for you guys. And I do believe on a spiritual level, you guys are so advanced, like incredible, you know, you guys are so incredibly advanced that I don't think and or believe that anybody's going to ever be able to catch up with you guys at this point. Nobody's going to ever be able to catch up with you Virgos because you guys have advanced yourselves so spiritually. You guys have done the work. You know, you, when I you guys have done the work, you did everything you guys possibly can to bring your vibration up, to be the empress or the emperor that you guys need to be, to balance everything out between yin and yang, always having to, you know, think with your heart, choose head over heart, heart, heart over head. You guys know exactly how to balance that energy out completely. You guys have surpassed a lot of people spiritually which is so amazing for you guys at the end because it that was not easy with the seven of pentacles. It really wasn't easy. You have to keep pouring and keep pouring and keep pouring until you said, you know what, enough's enough. I got to start pouring into my own cup. Me sitting here giving to people who continue to disappoint you, it doesn't fucking make sense. It doesn't make sense at all, right? So at the end of the day, you guys know how to call judgment. You guys know how to balance everything out. And I do believe 100% that you guys have surpassed almost every single person you guys have surpassed your enemies you're sur you've surpassed your exes uh, whoever else you guys have you guys are just ahead of the game on a spiritual level 
And you guys have a, an Aries Leo Sagittarius who's been thinking a lot about you. This person wants to come back and work on the relationship between the two of you guys. A lot of you guys may want to forgive this person with the Queen of Cups of the Justice card, but you're not sure right now if this is something that you guys are going to want in your energy. Yeah, the Hangman and the Devil card as well. A lot of you guys are not sure if you guys are going to be wanting to go back into the connection that was very low vibrational for you, an energy that brought you guys all the way the fuck down, and that's not something that you guys are wanting to be in anymore, especially when you guys did all everything you guys can to heal yourselves from things from the past. And it wasn't an easy long it, it was not an easy road with the 7 of pentacles. You had to keep going. Keep you 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 go, you fall. You go, you fall. I mean, how many times, you know, somebody who's healing it's like, okay, I got to change the way I talk. I got to have patience. And then you guys, you know, you're doing your thing. And it's like, damn, something comes in. It disturbs you. You guys fall. You, you take back 10 steps. And then you got to rebuild again. And then you go back 10 steps. And you got to rebuild again. It wasn't an easy road. At least for the last seven years and the last seven months, it has not been an easy road for you guys. But you guys are really good at your vibration at this time. Meaning you guys are already up there. <sighs> At the end of the day, this Aries Leo Sagittarius is going to want to come back towards you guys and wants to balance everything up between the two. But you guys are going to have to make a decision on whether or not you're going to want this energy, especially for you guys, Virgos. A uh, Libra energy, Sagittarius, Capricorn, uh, Pisces energy here, Sagittarius, Aries, and Taurus and a Virgo energy as well. Uh, I don't believe right now with the King of Pentacles, Hangman, and the Devil card, you guys are going to want anything to do with this person at all. You guys may not, honestly may not want nothing to do with them at all because you guys know that this person is super weak at certain times, that they cannot, yeah, sure, that's great. They're the king of, it doesn't matter. At the end of the day, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if they're the fucking king of pentacles. They don't take action. They don't do nothing. They say that they, they say something, but they don't take action. If your actions are not matching your words, then what the fuck are you saying anything for? It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. You guys are sitting there as the queen of pentacles. Or you know what I mean? Like this person here from the past. You guys are still thinking about the person from the past and the person from the past is still thinking about you. <laughs> Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You guys cannot release this person from the past because they brought you the most happiness with the sun energy. And this person here, the Knight of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, is still holding on to your energy with the Four of Pentacles. They haven't let you go. They're not doing nothing. That's what I'm telling you guys. Without action, what is the point of any of it? You sitting there missing people for the fuck what? I'm talking about you, Knight of Pentacles. You're the one that doesn't make no fucking moves. You're sitting there on your fucking horse like, oh, I don't know. I guess this person sits in their car all the time. <laughs> this person just sits in their car. They're just like, oh, <laughs> listening to fucking music, reminiscing and thinking, really thinking about you guys. That's exactly what they're doing. They're thinking about you guys, they're listening to their music, they go on drives, they sit in their car, you know, sure, this person thinks that it's a fucking vibe, but how is it a vibe when you're sitting in the five of pentacles to the six of cups? You're sad, you're lonely, you want to talk to the queen of pentacles, the queen of pentacles feels like you were the most happiest time that they had with you, you're still holding on to them, you're not making a move to come towards them, what do you not do and make, what do you, what do you what's going on with you? You know what I mean? It's crazy energy. This could be during the eclipse energy as well with the sun card to the moon to the four of pentacles. Sun, sun, uh, uh, maybe during, I don't know if the lunar eclipse has already passed. So if that's not the case, it would be the solar eclipse So that would, that's going to be coming in then later on. But I mean, and then something in the month of May. <laughs> I can't reveal my whole hand, all right? So you guys are going to have to do the work as well, all right? Uh, nine of swords and the six of swords so obviously with the illusions that they have or that they have going on with them at the moment on the knight of pentacles they're obviously stressed out about you they are gaining the wisdom that they're needing to come back towards you guys with the six of swords which they are going to come back for you this person feels absolutely guilty with the five of pentacles and the six of cups for the way that they had treated you they feel so bad they feel so they feel like they're greedy they feel like they're they still feel like they're very greedy they're very much so greedy for holding on to you for still holding on to your energy because them still holding on to your energy is also still technically blocking you guys from being able to move forward because they're actually holding on to you guys for dear life and they feel fucked up about it with the five of pentacles like they know the way that they're treating you right now is not good and on top of that they're not making a move like this person 
<sighs> misses you, they feel nostalgic on you, they're thinking about you, they are listening to music, reminiscing about you, they're crying over you, it really makes them feel sick to their stomach really, really badly how much they are how much they honestly miss miss you it makes them sick to their stomach it makes them it's making them sick of how much they actually want to be with you and they want to see you again so eventually they are going to be coming towards you guys i do believe that this is going to be around any eclipse energy with the sun to the moon um but in the end uh they are going to come back for you with the six of swords they want to talk to you they know that they hurt you really badly and the worst thing about it is that they ended up self-sabotaging this whole entire connection with the ace of cups eight of swords and that's because they were still entertaining other people and because they were entertaining other people you had no choice but to walk away you said no fuck this like what am i sitting here doing if you want to talk to other people go talk talk to talk to every do what you want to do so we can see what you'd rather do. When you give people the option of letting them do what they want to do so you can see what they'd rather do, then you have your answer every single time. Listen, we're not pressing you. We're not, we're not forcing you to come and hang out with a Virgo. Virgos are not forcing you to hang out with them. That's not, that's not, that's not what's happening. That's not, and it shouldn't have to be that way. Nobody's pressing anyone to hang out with anybody. But what everyone's going to start doing from now on, you're going to let people do what they want to do so you can see what they'd rather do. Because when you see what they'd rather do than spend time with you, then you can see exactly where their mindset is at and then you can see exactly what level of importance you are in someone's life. I mean, if you were that important, they would want to fucking talk to you all day, all night. If you were that important, they would want to see you all day, all night. If you, they want to hang out with you, take you out, do what they want to do with you. But if they're going to say, no, I'm, I'm only available on Thursdays. Okay, fuck it. Then go be with Brittany, Jackie, Michelle, Jacob, and fucking Alex. Fucking Alex keeps popping up in your readings. <laughs> so, so you guys said, fuck this, I'm out. Three of Pentacles, the fuck you mean? You think I have time for the heartbreak? You think I... And the crazy thing... And the worst part about it is, like, you guys were absolutely devastated. Like, this is the crazy... You guys were... You guys were absolutely devastated. This person took you, like, took you for granted, one. He made you feel so fucked up, made you feel so insecure, horrible about yourself, gave you so much stress, anxiety. No, no, nothing's worse than anything in this world when you're in war between you and yourself. You're in war between your mind and your heart. And you have nobody to sit there and talk to about it because the one person that you want to talk to about is the one that fucking took you for granted and didn't appreciate you. But you're in war between your heart and your head. You know, nobody will ever be able to understand that energy unless you've had numerous conversations with yourself with pain. And that alone, that goes beside the three of swords to the eight of swords. When you know pain like this, and you don't and you want to talk to someone that you really love, Ace of Cups, and they're nowhere to be found because they're sitting there talking and entertaining other people, the war becomes now between you, your heart, and your mind. You're going to have more conversations with yourself, with yourself than you ever had with anybody before. Uh, Eight of Cups, you guys chose to walk away. You know, it really had you guys fucked up like because you guys didn't have any answers. <sighs> Eight of Pentacles as well, but you guys worked on yourselves. And while you guys worked on yourself, this person chose to party, drink, and do their thing. This person's going to also contact you when they're, when they're intoxicated uh, to a sword and you're not going to know what to do. You guys are listening to yourselves and knowing that what you guys want is at the most highest vibration, at the most highest vibration with the Ten of Cups. And you guys are going to listen to your intuition. And you guys are going to realize that this person is nothing but selfish and manipulative. You guys also have people who are sitting here doing work behind you guys. They're sitting there doing rituals on you guys, uh, letting their work on you guys, and sending you negative energy as well. None of their magic is going to stay on to you. It's actually going to be fucking them up really badly and reversing back onto them. When you come in as somebody as the high priestess to the Ten of Cups, somebody who's spiritually advanced, somebody who is spiritually up there, somebody who is who has the balance of light and dark, somebody who does not abuse their power... Somebody who is absolutely connected to divination. And then you guys got these little fucking minions sitting there doing their fucking magic on you. They're all going to end up getting blocked to a swords. They all tried to fuck you guys up during the moon energy that had just passed. And they're all going to get fucked up. And they're still going to get fucked up. If they, want, if they want the smoke, let them blow it so you guys can fucking spit that shit the fuck back. The fuck you mean. Uh, these people worked in a group of people, but they're all heartbroken and hurt now for what they've done to you. They're trying to find ways to either reverse the work that they've done... <laughs> but they're saying that you no matter what you do, no matter what you do, 
no matter how much times you want to undo something, it's never going to work out because what you did is what you did and it cannot be done. It's already going to be sent back to you guys at the end of the day. Five of swords. Uh, uh, there's a saying that goes, uh, hated by many. There's a saying that goes, sorry, hated by many, defeated by none. Thanks, cuties. Bye.